uh, cutting a slot for the into the base plate that the saw is going to mount to. It has a 45 on this side, which uh, rides in that. Okay. Okay, that fits and that angles the right way. So now I've just got to bolt that to the soft plate, even with this edge here. Then we can slide that thing on the track and see how it works. See that little bevel there? It's going to go on this bevel here. And it holds it on and gives it something to slide on. Okay, I've got the mounting plate clamped to the saw. Got four dots where I want to put bolts, so I'm going to put four carriage bolts. So this is a quarter inch carriage bolts. This is a little bit smaller bit. To One, Okay. On the track. Not bad. I think I'm going to put a piece here and a handle on here. Hold it here and just push it down the track. Okay, I have this thing up on its side here, clamped to the bench. Started to work on the holes for the height adjustment. Got one in to get it tested out. So you can see here's the pins I'm using. Got it marked out in one inch increments all the way up and down to one. This is set at one inch right now. So now I'm going to go down to the other side and drill that one and we'll film that. I think this is going to work pretty good. Then once I get all the holes drilled, I'm going to go take and bevel the edges. So the pin go in just a little easier, bevel it on this and all the holes that are going to go in there, give it a little beveled edge. So let's get set up and drill that first one on that side. Okay, and I got my depth marked with the little tape flag here, so probably should use something to guide me straight, but I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I got all the uh, holes drilled on each end with uh, inch increments from 1 to 13 inches. Got the saw here on its plate. Uh, got a handle up here um, to help push it. And there's the pins. Hold it for the height. And the one on this end. And I put a magnet on there to hold the can of silicone, which is the best uh, lubricant, they say, to spray the chain with once in a while. So, okay, I just made a couple uh, log clamps, nothing fancy here. One for each end uh, that'll move on the platform here and can be clamped down. I'm going to, as soon as this dries, I'm going to drill a little hole and uh, feed these nails through so they'll stick out and uh, help grip the grip the log maybe just one of them not sure yet pretty simple just something to keep it from sliding when to push the saw against it and maybe rolling but when it's perfectly round on the first cut Well, I beefed up the uh, log hold downs, kind of got two sets. There's a uh, taller one with some uh, lag bolts sticking through it, so pound those tips into the log. One of those on each end for the first cut. Need something a little more substantial to hold it. And then uh, once you make that first cut, flip it over on the flat side. Need something lower so we can cut down all the way down. So I've got these flatter ones here with the bunch of nails captured in there across for each end and then I've got this for the middle uh, kind of keep it from rolling help make it stable all these just get clamped to the frame so we'll probably try this out tomorrow Well, there you have it. You know, the actual run time, it was, uh, I don't know. Next time I'll have to time it. It was about four or five minutes, you know, I'm doing a lot of stuff in between, blow it off, but not bad. Not too shabby. Nice little branch inclusion there coming out. So there it is. That's the uh, one, two, third slab I've got off of there. So third cut. I don't think I'm going to do another one. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to look at that piece that's left there. But uh, overall, not bad. Uh, I think last time I cut, I was forcing it too much, not letting the blade do its work. Although I do think this combination blade is better than the cross cut blade it came with so I'll be anxious to get a full rip cut on that and uh, what else um, the sawmill itself uh, works pretty good I might think see if I can adapt my 16 inch chainsaw and make a platform to hold it guide in here and expand my cut I pretty much got about an 11 inch max with this prosy then I can expand it to probably, you know, like a 14 or 15 inch cut, which the uh, sawmill can hold here. It can easily hold a 14 inch log on there, no problem. So, yeah, there we go.
success, I'd say. Thanks for joining me on this journey.